I'm like, ain't nothing to talk about. Get this big beat out. <laughs> So this video is going to be um, the story of me giving birth to Emira. Obviously, I'm a first time mom. Um, I found out I was pregnant actually on my birthday. I was turning 23 on my 23rd birthday. Um, we had went to Atlantic City the, the weekend before and we were drinking and stuff. And I was like, wow, something that doesn't feel right. Like, I just had like a crazy feeling. And then, so we got back, I went back to work, everything. And then that day, like, I guess it was the Lord. Like he told me, sis, it's time to take a test. So then I was like, okay, <laughs> go to the store, get a test. Um, and then it was like 11 o'clock at night. Um, I go on it, I'm like, it's probably negative, like, I don't know. I look, obviously do what I had to do, and after a couple minutes, I go back into the bathroom, and I see that it's positive. My mouth dropped. I was like, what? <laughs> ah, mind you, it was my first year teaching to everything. And this happens. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. This was quick. I don't know. So, um, then I was, I mean, I've always said I would tell Eddie in a cute way, but I guess I forgot. <laughs> in the spur of the moment, it just freaked me out, gave me anxiety. So I, I was stuck in the bathroom for like five minutes. Then finally I came out, he was in the kitchen and I was like, babe. And then I basically just gave him the test and then like ran away. And he was like, are you serious? I'm like, yes, like I can't make these. Then the rest was history. So speed up, speed up, speed up. I am now 36 weeks, 36 weeks and four days. I go to the doctor and my blood pressure is elevated. So they're like, okay, let's check the protein in your urine because what, like those are two major signs of um, preeclampsia. Checks um, my urine and there's definitely protein in there. She's like, oh, you gotta go to the hospital, sis. You gotta go get checked to monitor, da da da. I'm like, okay, so I call Eddie. I'm like, yeah, I have to go to the hospital because um, my BP is elevated and I have protein in my urine. He was like, oh, do you need me to come? Because it's not the first time I went to labor and delivery because, you know, new mom chronicles, I think everything is wrong. Um, I'm like, no, it should be fine. I go there. They were like, um, yeah, so you, you have preeclampsia, at least the start of it um we might have to deliver you today depending or um within like the next couple of days so i was like whoa wow is the crib set up like freaking out good thing i'm like crazy and plan my baby shower like to be a little bit earlier because if i would have waited like it would have been a wrap so um i call eddie i'm like yeah they're telling me like i have preeclampsia the baby has to like come out soon before it develops he's like wow um okay you guys look good to know eddie he makes everything a joke whatever so i'm like okay this is scary so they're like okay well we're gonna have to give you a steroid shot like just to make sure that the baby's lungs are developing enough like for her to actually be born so she wasn't born that day i was actually able to like go home and whatever um we just ended up scheduling an induction and then i just went to the doctor like i think every day leading up to so they said they were gonna monitor me and then if it like skyrockets then definitely i'm i'm not gonna be sent home from the hospital 
So for the next couple of days, like it was okay. And then I went to the doctor again, blood pressure was high. So um, we scheduled my induction for that Thursday because we wanted to make sure that I was 37 weeks. Um, so that Thursday, um, we said oh, we made sure that we had everything done before Thursday. Um, and we had our hospital bags together, everything. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting induced on Thursday. That's fine. Thursday comes. Oh, by the way, I'm still going to work this whole week. Thursday comes. Um, I'm at work. <laughs> I'm like, everybody's like, why are you here? Aren't you gonna have your baby later or something? I'm like, yeah, I don't have to be there till like eight o'clock, it's fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, I had so much stuff to do. I wanted to take my hair out because I had my weave-in from the baby shower still. I wanted to do all of these things, but I'm at work, you know. I don't know why I was at work, but I'm like, yeah, let me just be at work. So I ended up um, staying there for the whole day then at the end of the day like i said bye to everyone they were like oh good luck da, 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 giving me hugs and stuff so um finally i get home and i try and take out my hair and i'm like oh my goodness i can't take out my hair so i started crying sobbing sobbing crying then i had changed the garbage i'm like okay it'll be nice and clean for when we come back Eddie put something in the garbage, crying. I was crying my eyes out. For some reason, something told me to go in the room and belly flop on the bed because I was so stressed. And I was like, oh my God, my baby is going to meet me. I'm gonna look ugly because I've had this hair in. Da 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 da. My best friend came in for the save. She had like a slap or whatever, this certain type of hat. I still looked ugly. That's why you guys probably won't see any pictures of me in the hospital. But um, I, I wore the slap all the days that I was there. And that's how my baby met me. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to keep this video short, but I'm... So then we end up getting to the hospital late because I'm trying to fix my hair. Eddie's like trying to calm me down from having a meltdown. Get to the hospital. I have to sit in the waiting room for so long. I think I was supposed to get induced at eight. Didn't get into like the, what is it called? The um, triage. I didn't get into the triage till like 11. Then they were waiting for beds to open, all of that. So I think they started with me on something called, is this side attack maybe? It was like uh, a little drink. Mind you, I wasn't dilated or anything, nothing. We're starting from scratch, okay? So this was Thursday night, 11 p.m., okay. Nothing is happening. They're checking me every so often, obviously keeping an eye on my blood pressure, all of that. I also had to have an IV um, for antibiotics as well. So I have an IV in, all of these things in. And also, good thing I ate before all of this too, because I would have been sick. So um, I finally get my own room and I actually had, maybe I can insert that clip if I have it finally get my own room i'm like oh my goodness i can't believe my baby's really coming friday morning they check not dilated nothing's going on nothing's going on so then they go to the next step and they try and give me more of the side attack honestly if i'm saying it wrong somebody commented below i think it was side attack something like that they gave me more that's still not working. It's like Friday afternoon. Everybody's like, dag. Then they're like, okay, we're going to try the Foley balloon to try and induce you. It was so painful because she had to kept seeing like if I was dilated and you just wouldn't think something like that would be painful. It was so painful. I could not believe it. So um, they put the Foley balloon in. 
Um, I also had to get on a catheter, I guess, because of, I um, can't even remember exactly. I had a catheter in, an IV, all this stuff. Induction's not working. They're trying everything, fully balloon, everything. Still not working. I think maybe I went to a fingertip dilated. That's pretty much it. Emira was not trying to come out. She said, I'm comfortable right here. Don't bring me into this mess. So Friday night, I'm getting over it. I literally say like, can I talk to my doctor? Like, I don't want to talk to none of your doctors around here. I just want like my personal doctor. So I'm like, yeah, is there any way we can just do a C-section? Like I'm over it. Like, this is like painful. I have different things inside of me and like, I can't. She's like, no, like you're a first time mom, young, da da da. I think we should wait, see what happens. We still wait in. Five hours later, finally, we finally get to Saturday. She comes in. Yeah, um, you're not dilating, so um, I think we're gonna go ahead. Remember what you said earlier? You suggested a C section. So um, why don't you guys talk about it and then we'll see. I'm like, ain't nothing to talk about. Get this baby out. We actually did end up talking about it. Like just to have a conversation. Me and Eddie, we talked about it, whatever. He was on board, I was on board. I'm like, at this point, like it's been what? Since Thursday, it's been three days. I'm over this. Like I'm feeling stuff. Like I guess I did start to have like a little bit of contractions, but I was just over it. And also the second I felt something, I was like, nope, I need that epidural ASAP. Um, so they ended up starting to prep me for surgery. Um, and it was, it was totally a Grey's Anatomy moment. Um, Eddie had to get dressed like in the scrubs and all of that. Um, they brought me in first. He walked me, me to the door and he brought they brought me in first um i guess they wanted to like make sure everything was good and then they actually brought eddie in um it didn't get hazy but everything just happened so quickly i got really anxious like while they started like cutting because i was convinced i felt something and like i was freaking out out so he ended up like giving me something to kind of like knock me out while this is going on next thing i remember here oh good thing um good thing you decided to um do a c-section because the cord is like wrapped all around her and it was wrapped around her neck that literally we can give thanks to the lord for that because that's that was just so crazy but I wasn't even in the right, the right mind at that point. I was like, mm -hmm, okay. But like thinking about it, like, thank God. Only God would actually sit there, make me go through all of that, and then notice that there was a, cer a certain reason why we couldn't do it um, the vaginal way. So, um,. The next thing I remember after that is her crying. They're like, yeah, look, it's a beautiful baby girl. And I'm just like, ooh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, they usually give the babies to the mom. They did not give me her. They were like, um, we'll just hold her by your face. <laughs> and then I gave her like a little kiss. Um, she, I don't know why I feel like crying right now, but it was just so cute. Um, so she was crying, Eddie was like with her, watching them like deal with her, wipe everything off of her and stuff. Uh oh, she's starting to cry. Um, so then, um, basically, let me try and wrap up quickly because she's gonna call me any minute with crying. Um, so Eddie was just holding her um, and then they started to, um, I guess get my placenta out i insisted on knowing what my placenta looked like so one of the nurses <laughs> made sure that i got to see my placenta it was just it looked like a bag of meat i don't know <laughs> but i wanted to see it so she was really nice and she actually allowed me to see it 
Um, what else? Um, yeah, so then they had Eddie leave um, while he went like to follow the baby or whatever. Um, and then they took me to recovery. Everything was pretty quick there. They gave me, I think they gave me something to drink. Um, and then they brought Umaira out to see me. Um, I finally got to hold her without like, oh. Um, and it was just so, it was crazy to, like I was scared to hold her because she was so little. Um, but it was also like one of the best moments of my life. So um, we did skin to skin and then um, she breastfed for the first time. She was like literally a natural, like went back like on there, like she'd been doing that her whole life. She was ready. <laughs> it was really um, an incredible and roller coaster experience. I'm sure I'm leaving things out, um, but that was pretty much my birth story. Um, it wasn't like anything like in the movies like oh my water broke over the floor i hope you guys enjoyed watching this um give it a thumbs up if you did um subscribe like for more videos and comment if you want to see anything else um birth related or anything like that i know you guys hear her crying i gotta go <laughs> see you guys later